The Isuzu Ute A-League Final Series is here. Throughout May, watch the best in the league go all in to reach the Grand Final. Experience it live. Search A-League's tickets. I had a coffee here. <laughs> or fourth one, sorry. Absolutely. Oh, I, can't, I can't talk shit anymore. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Great quote from one of the greats. Uh, line up, Holy, unfortunately, you're going to miss Tonight, we got already enough defenders on the bench, OK? First five minutes of each half, important. Uh, first five minutes after goal is scored, composure. If he scored a goal, even more composure if he concede a goal, OK? Get, a, get a, around each other, talk to each other, help each other, move forward. And then, obviously, last five minutes of each half, when concentration starts uh, to decrease, make sure that we are focused, we are switched on. Again, we communicate with each other. Make sure that we, we roll up our sleeves and we are aggressive, we force the mistake. Any questions? No? OK. Let's go. This ties over two games. It will not be finished in, uh, in Sydney. But I think everyone is looking, can we get as much advantage in the first game as possible? That will give us some safety in the second game. So ho hopefully we'll, we'll have a performance and uh, we can get some good result. Everyone wants that spot in the grand final. Everything just automatically rises, intensity, the, the tactics, all these kinds of things, everything. Um, you try to get perfect because um, you only have usually have one opportunity. It's going to be a great challenge for us, but you know, not one we're daunted by or scared of. It's an exciting opportunity to um, you know knock them off and get to the next get to the next stage. To the season we've had and. Def definitely been testing at times. Hello, mate. How are you? Good. To be able to come out and, and taste success at the end of it would be pretty sweet. Oh, there we go. Uh, got a couple options actually. Got a stereo. Yeah, library with you. <laughs> Probably more books than boots, <laughs> actually. Go to a library. Four books. <laughs> Three pairs of boots. <laughs> really one. just shit the bed, man. I didn't, yeah, good. Proper shit the bed. They couldn't score at all. Do you watch it? Uh, I watched court in the first quarter, but then turned it off because they were that far in front. So, <laughs> no way, I did chat. In fact, I didn't feel like it's having a game that way. Yeah. Probably just been three singing up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've shut the eye at work, so they didn't play pretty good. And then just over years, mm. I've just been. I could have, could have, should have been done, yeah, well, if not triple that. Like. I honestly get noise, mm -hmm. I think, you know, but yeah. maybe more. It's like. Yeah. And so it's like a missed opportunity as well. It's yeah. like, not really. It's like missed opportunity. Mm -hmm. You ready? Concentration uh, for five, six minutes. We'll get through the final details. So I've heard O'Neill's not playing here. So could be Lamb, could be Jamo as well as played there before as the six. So we'll just see what happens when we get the team sheet. But there's our quality up top and we need to stop them and don't give them any space at all like we did last week. Make sure we prepare rides, do everything possible and we'll start well. Remember, they had that week off. They did have a game. Uh, Mind them being as high as intensity as what they're used to. So we need to go in from the start, put them under pressure, front foot, be positive, everything we do. Yep. Great. Go. I think we are getting closer. 
Moore Park, that's yes. where the stadium is. We've got a pretty clean list, have we? Nobody unavailable. No, no, that's it. They're all available. You know, this is the part where you feel shit because you have to drop someone. As long as it's good communication, you know, and everybody feels wanted, I think it doesn't really matter, does it? They like the sounds of team game. Still, it's not easy to let, tell them and they all want to play. For them, it's always personal. This was a long drive, to be honest. Did we get lost there, or what was that? He must be Steve Corica's father. Where reckon Chunk's going to be? You have to do it. You have to do it. You reckon? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I don't know if I got in the locker. 100%. You'll be out there. I here. can't do dances, man. Why? <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, we'll go together. Let's go there. Let's go over there. Chunky. What's going on, bro? We got like 25 minutes, huh? I'm going to go in. Well, it's these two again. For the fifth year in a row, the grand final will feature one of Sydney FC or Melbourne City, the perennial chasers of silverware. Sydney FC, five times champions and Australian record. Melbourne City premiers three years in a row, unprecedented in the A-League era. But which one of them wins through this two-legged semi-final? Okay, yeah. semi-final. Yep, for us, we worked hard well, to get to this position, to get to the next position. One step at a time, we work hard. It's not just about the game, okay? It's not just about going out and performing. It's not just about the city shirt and your name on it. It's much, much more than that. It's about the pride, it's about the tradition, it's about respect. Feel free to play. Enjoy yourself. It's a massive game. Crowds here, music energy. Fuck it, bring us to the next level. It's about people taking care of each other. It's about people fighting for each other. It's about people inspiring each other. And we need to go to another level than what we were last week. And now we're stepping up again. Already? Tonight, be dominant, be relentless, be unstoppable. Good luck. Ago, you have got long odds on City FC being here at all. A late season surge, they are six matches on beat now. Suddenly, their finals know how tilts the scales back towards even in this semi final. City, of course, have had the week off and coming to this one on the back of an eight match unbeaten run. They've been top of the regular season ladder all year and it would take a brave person to tip against them. City are used to all that. And the Premiers, a team to beat, and a team packed full of stars. Come on, yeah? Hey, bit different now with everyone. It's going to take everyone to win this fucking championship. But it starts tonight. First thing, they're going to think we're a bit rusty because we've had a week off. I'm telling you now, they're going to come out with their fans. The first 10, 15 minutes, they're going to try and suffocate us. So we have to turn them around a bit. Be direct. Be direct. So be smart. Don't be rash. Energize. Have a crack. Come on. The referee is Adam Kersey. A big match for him. It's its first ever finals match after 84 regular season games in charge. Sydney FC get the ball rolling. 180 minutes of football, potentially longer. Yep, yep, and of yep. course, no away goals rule in place to decide who will contest the grand final. Hearts, who's got the edge in this one, do you fancy? Melbourne City have to have the edge over two games. They deserve the favouritism. Oh, they've earned it. Pressure, Adam, pressure! You know, there's not many teams left who are looking forward to playing Sydney FC who are building the case. It'll be a great game, this one should be two excellent semi-finals. Into a little pocket of space for Caceres. Lays it off for Robert Mack. Sydney pressing in these opening stages. On the turn is Caceres. All wrapped up by Good. It breaks for Robert Mack. And forced in by Lafondra, but the flag is up on the far side. And it's not going to count, despite the celebrations in the cove. VR, of course, we'll have a look at it. It was the original pass that came through. So we'll just check it. Oh, okay. You have to play ball earlier because then they crash them. When you play ball back, play early so you can put time with the ball, okay? Correct. 
decision outside of that. It was a nice bit of play from Sydney. Enormous confidence out of that. That's Retre doing the stealing of the ball. And Burgess threads it through for Lafondra. And Sydney are claiming a touch off Tom Glover. The goal kick is the verdict. And this semi final first leg started to build quite nicely. Veronguet. Down the line by Boss. Looking for the 1 2 with Lackey. He's got it. And there's a little bit of contact there from Ryan Grant, and it's going to be a free kick for Melbourne City. He's accidentally clipped him. He's pinged him on that. But he's switch on on this. Checking for here, Harps. Can That's you offside. The ref's got his finger to his ear, so they're looking at something. Kersey and Sean, yeah. going to recommend an on field review yep. for the possible offside. Okay, all right. Here we go. Well, we're told it's for offside here. All right, are you at the screen? Okay, I'm at the screen. Okay, so Tilio, number 23, Melbourne City in the centre, yep. is in an offside position. Yep. Okay? Yep. So it's a matter of the impact for you on number nine. Okay, go through. Okay. I don't think there's much in that for me, mate. She's the contact for me doesn't impact the Fondra's ability to play the ball. She has a clear jump at it and just misses it. Clear jump at it? Yeah. They take a step after and then jump clearly and then misses the header. All right. Can, there's a clear action to play the ball, though. Are you happy with that? There's a clear action. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay, I'm so what's... Give the goal. He was just too short. Like you're taller. Yeah. <laughs> you're not much taller. Well, let's see what Adam Kersey decides. Yeah, goal. Well, Sydney were hoping against hope that they were going to get a reprieve there. Still a lot of football to be played over the two legs. Back inside the penalty area. Lovely turn by Robert Mack. And Glover forced to make the save with the legs. Ryan! Sydney's best moment for some time. Caceres. That's Grant available. Lovely football by Ryan Grant. Caceres. Saved by Glover. Brilliantly the second time round. That is outstanding goalkeeping. What a save. And City somehow scrambling clear. What a double save by Tom Glover. You can't, you can't consider that that's not going to be a goal. Stevie Corrigan thought it was for sure. Time. Eventful, to say the least. This club has been brilliant between the sticks. Steve Gorica had to put in a big half-time team talk against the Wanderers last week to turn things around. He's going to have to do so again at the break at Allianz. It's Sydney FC nil, Melbourne City 1. Hey, great save. Well done. Well done. Really good. Think about playing. If, if, if he passes ball to you and his man is putting pressure on you, he is the best option. Just be a little bit more selective with, with those runnings, okay? Run, as we said, you know, across the field, okay? But then you can't run too far because then you're running into into the wall. Yeah. Okay, you have to you have to play the ball to the opposite fullback or, or to the opposite winger, okay? <clears throat> okay. Well done, boys. Excellent first half. We haven't had many opportunities. We've had the best one. Same as last week now. It was about coming back. But again, we need to just make sure we're patient enough. We kick the ball because we can get back into it. It's two legs. We just got to get back into the game. We could go on and win it from here, but no problem. No taking too many risks that we're pushing forward. Just keep doing what you're doing with the ball. Move it quickly. Find the openings. And then when we get the opportunity to penetrate, use it. Okay? Everyone clear? Yep. Any problems? No? Good? Good. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Sydney FC did manage to turn things around last week against the Wanderers. And most of the fans in attendance tonight, hopeful they will do so again. As for Melbourne City, going to kick off the second half. They've only never been successful in one away finals game against Wellington Phoenix all the way back in 2015. So a 
huge three quarters of an hour ahead. Wilkinson, King, Burgess, lovely little drop to the shoulder and then accelerates into that pocket of space, leaves it for King, near post is Caceres, good football this by Sydney, back for Gretz, Retray, they let it run, Ryan Gretz, and Glover grabs onto it gratefully and City have turned the ball straight back over and Rodwell's going to have a go here. Away. Equal time from Sydney. Important moments these potentially in the first leg of the semi-final. Van der Ven finds Boss. And Boss almost got it past Redmayne. Terrific stuff from Jordan Boss. Well done, Jordy! Love it! Sydney start again. Burgess. Well defended by Nuno Reyes at the near post. Sydney will come again. Caceres, oh, the challenge from Nuno Reyes was late. Hey! I saw the ball first, man. It looked like a penalty to me, but don't check it. That's your right. The base is sliding. He's going away from our goal. You don't slide. Stay on your feet. And Sydney will have the chance to equalise from 11 metres. Well, big, big moment. Anthony Caceres, not a regular penalty taker, is going to get the responsibility. This is huge. Fucking get in front of him, Bossy! And Caceres sees his effort saved again by Tom Glover. And Sydney denied again from the penalty spot. What's with penalties and that, man? What can we... the fuck? Steve Corica can't quite believe it. What's happened? What's happening there? Is there a delay on whether Tom Glover left the line too quickly? Yeah, or the other possibility is encroachment, of course, but have we seen that tingle season no, arms? No, I haven't. Sean Evans in the VAR booth tonight. Kersey and Sean. Yeah. I'm going to recommend a retake of the penalty kick. Yeah. It's factual interference by Tolbert. Yeah, all right. So it'll be a retake. He's come in, he's come in. Tolbert, he's come in early. Let's go, Tolbert. Extraordinary. The Melbourne City are furious. Oh, man. Come on. It's a... Oh, my God. Alfie's got to take this. They're fighting over it. Cass has taken it. Let Adam take it. He's taken, he's taken it. And Adam Lafondra, who spurned the first penalty, now says, I'll take the responsibility. He normally goes for power. Let's see. Finds the bottom corner. Nothing Tom Glover can do this time. The bullshit. All square in the first leg of the semi-final. We need to switch on now. This is, this is important, what we do next. We don't want to, like, switch off and concede. Yeah, right. We've got another leg to go. It's a fight now. We need to switch them on. Hey. Burgess. Clever touch, and Grant was brave to nod it on. Oh, Lafondra, I fancy, was trying to back heel it into the path of his teammate. Burgess picks up the loose ball. Lafondra, Grant is furthest forward! Scores from close range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sydney FC from 1-0 down are now 2-1 up, just as they were here against City back in round seven. Hey, it's all tied, man. This is probably going to be ruled out, you know. Can't see how that one's going to stand. It's a clear off fight, huh? From my point of view, it's a dog shit. Well, to the naked eye, Adam Lafondra appears to be offside. Kersey and Sean, I've yep. got a factual review. Yep. Offside against Adam Lafondra. Okay, no worries. Yeah, and I think that's the correct decision. The Sydney fans don't like it, but Lafondra did appear to be offside, and we're back to 1 1. Step up, step up! Tilio gets clear of Burgess, driving towards the penalty box. 
Great run. Down he goes on the edge of the box. Breaks here for McLaren. And a really good scrambling stop by Andrew Redmayne. The flag was off anyway. Is there to be a late twist? It's been nip and tuck. Lolly near post for Woods. So here comes City again, the game swinging end to end. It's been a good one, this. And time almost up at Allianz Stadium. And that will do for the first leg of this semi-final. All square after 90 minutes, but you'd probably say advantage Melbourne City ahead of the return leg at Amy Park, where City, of course, haven't lost a home match all season. They will fancy their chances of finishing off the job there and winning through to a fourth grand final. But Sydney still alive and still plenty to come in the second leg. It's going to be an exciting leg down in Melbourne. Obviously, all to play for now, and you know both teams are going to go at each other, and it'll be a it'll be a great spectacle. To be fair, both teams did really well under tough conditions. Like to play, so you know it's a big effort for everyone. Yeah. They're doing super well, but proud of you. Yeah. Feels fantastic, man. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Just yeah. a good game. Well. Yeah. Good atmosphere. Yeah, it was a close encounter. Um, that's what finals football is about, so we have to go again next week. All good? Well done. Four one. Well done, Chris. Better chances. We scored our chances. You look at the game, we probably had the better chances. And we come back as well again from a goal down. So boys showing great character, great belief that they can they can go on and win this. You okay? Okay, draw here. Okay. I was hoping to win this game, but uh, to come to Sydney against uh, so many good players, um, you know, and to get one one draw. I think it's a good result for us, and now we are just looking towards uh, Melbourne uh, next Friday. Oh, is he? He's the one who saved the penalty against them to send them out of the World Cup. Really? Yeah. Can I have your shirt? No, no, no. The Isuzu Ute A-League Final Series is here. Throughout May, watch the best in the league go all in to reach the Grand Final. Experience it live. Search A-League's tickets.